All right. <clears throat> Pod time, man. Anything you say can or will be like used against you and shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? Um, so don't incriminate yourselves. It's just jokes. Everybody remain calm. <laughs> it's all for entertainment purposes only. But you know what I'm saying? How y'all doing? The shout is your guy. You know what I'm saying? The one, the only one. Clutch Matic, God's favorite son. You know what I'm saying? With Suck my it. with my homies, my good people, it's my you know what I'm saying? My brother them, my sister them. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> all right. Oh, it's good. Yeah. She's like, is he? Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I never know when you're finished. Ten minutes later. <laughs> And I'm still just like, yeah, like, you know, my yeah. nigga from the soil, you know. <laughs> from the soil is from crazy. the soil. The the sand sand the sand the sand mud, mud, we touch grass together, bro. That's my nigga, my ace boom coon, you know what I'm saying? But ace <laughs> How old are you? Hella. Oh my god. <laughs> hella, hella, hella. I heard but my shit, mom man. say that. Indeed, indeed, bro. Indeed, bro. That's not the thing. She would never. It is I, your boy Clutch Matic. And then next is. Nessa Love and Two E's on Instagram. And then Kid A, keeping it simple and short for y'all. And we are This Is the First Podcast. Hey, look at that. Cool. All right. So it's been a minute, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, what have y'all been up to? Specifically, you, because you were more interested than the rest of us. Nah. What do you mean I'm lucky? We, we just go to work, bro. We just I go, go to work. work. Countries. <clears throat> That's great. That's your war agents. Yeah, way. So go ahead and. I mean, it's been an eventful past few months. For the slice. Um, in November, I was in Kenya for a few weeks. Um, ended December, ring in the new year in Puerto Rico. This month is a save, relax kind of month, and then next month I'm in Togo for two weeks. And then we're back. We <clears> chill <throat> for a little bit. And then we're in Texas in May for work, for work, for work. And then in November again, we're going to skip the block back in Kenya. What are you working at? I just work for, for a great place. Yeah, hire. <laughs> bro, I've been trying to get her to fly me into that job for months, bro. She oh bullshit. There is selective bro. Oh, she man. Bullshit. I called her the other day. I was like, son. We bullshit. talked about yeah. it. I sent you. She was like, can, what you, they have can, you, for, can you forge a degree? I, was like, I didn't see. No, <laughs> I was like, fool. Look, like. if you want a job and you're advanced in accounting, master's yeah. level, and experience, I can count. hit me up. Okay, I think how well. it's crazy. Anyways, they're gonna end the year in December in France. Is the plan for the year? Bro, insane. Like no funny, mm -hmm. no funny. I am planning a fucking uh, Texas trip for May. I'm, I just want to eat. Sure. Really, just want to eat some food, bro. That's crazy. Oh, that's lit. <laughs> Instagram been killing me lately with like all the food posts. Um, bro, it's either always in California or mm -hmm. uh, Texas. That'd be the food. In or the the fucking real estate food, right? No, I think it'd be the real estate for sure. Oh, yeah. So, oh. one of the, okay, so in Puerto Rico, right? The cost of living is a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you know, they're not making as much either. It's like, you know, here in like the DMV kind of like area. But one of my Uber drivers was like, he had, no, because he was like, he's in real estate. Anyways, he owns a four bedroom house, okay. three bathrooms, garage, whatever. His mortgage a month is $700. Huh. Right. <laughs> right. Like, that meant Uber's for fun. I'm about to. Nigga, I'm like, about to get crazy. I'm about to get things to do about that don't work. The weather was great. The drinks were hitting. We did, like, the TVs. <laughs> Dog, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. I'm a piece out of Maryland, bro. It's just yeah, too expensive. I mean, Maryland, I bro. agree. I literally saw a post today. It was like, how do you save money in the DMV? Leave. Leave. Yeah. <laughs> Quite literally. Like, I really want to move to Carolina, bro. Like, straight up. Back home. Back home, mm. my parents just live there, but it's nice I as fuck. Like yeah, I do. I'll be out there though. That's home, is it not? Yeah, all right, mom. Yeah. Home is where the is. Oh, fucking brother. Oh, fucking brother. That was crazy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right. So um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Continue, please. Yeah. So I mean, we did some ATVs. It was my friend Lily's birthday. Shout out, Lily. Uh, 26 now is Capricorn season, I suppose. Um, yeah, that no, was cool. We like did some hiking, we like swam in a river. We were super drunk, super fucked up. But we're back now and hydrating. 
Shit. So tell me, tell me about you know what I'm saying your sleep situation. So when I went to Kenya, right, I was there for like twelve days. Okay. And it was the first time my mother, well, because my mom and Mia came with me, mm -hmm. uh, just because you know the job pays for like my flight and my hotel or whatever. So they're like, yeah, they're gonna come and tag along, and I was like, it's fine. I said my kid with me, no problem. So we were staying in the same room, and it's the first time my mother and I had like slept in the same like room or environment in like 10, 15 days. Okay. And so obviously me and Mia are in one bed, she's in like phone bed or whatever. And my mother's like a really light sleeper. And she was saying that she could like hear that while I slept for like 10, 15 seconds, I stopped breathing. Okay. Like I just, I re like my brain resets or whatever. And I just stop breathing for like 10, 15 seconds. And then I go back to breathing or whatever. And then, but she was like, it happens like a lot throughout that like, 10, 12 days that we were like out there. And she was like, yeah, you should probably go get like sleep notes, the sleep study test, whatever, for sleep anemia. And apparently some of the symptoms are that like, you stop breathing for one, you can wake up with like headaches, either you wake up and you still feel like exhausted, like you didn't really sleep, mm -hmm. or you wake up and you're like, over sleep because there's a thing too like you can be mm -hmm. drunk off sleep like <clears throat> you slept for so long you kind of wake up and you're just kind of like like you're not normal you know what i mean um snoring is also a big part of like sleep apnea okay um and i like sleep talk but i don't know if i like snore per se but i've gotten both or whatever but I made the appointment so this past friday night i went into the sleep lab what it's called <laughs> like you laughing less with what it's called because it's funny but, uh, um, but yeah really... so you get in there or whatever and they hook up sensors to you like there's like there's like five on my like face i was wondering if you even had like a breathing apparatus no breathing so, breathing. so they put so, actually a picture they I'm put um on that. no 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 so they have yeah. like ties like around your waist okay they have stuff like on your face Nigga. what anyways look <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's not cute it but up. yeah but um it's like all over like your face like they put them in like my hair because there's like certain places on like your brain yeah you're when they want to like yeah. record um there was like some on my legs to like monitor like how i move in my sleep there was like um like a heart rate monitor like on my finger just like the whole thing and they asked me like what my normal sleep schedule is um and for the past few weeks i'm actually waking up at like four in the morning at end. Well, because I try to get yeah. like my schoolwork and stuff done before Mia wakes up in the morning because then I just I get less than if she's like awake and like moving around. Not true. So I'm up at like four on a weekday. I'm Mia's up at like 6 45. We get her ready for school, things like that. But if I'm up at like 4 30, 4 in the morning, I'm asleep by like 9 p.m., like 8 30, 9 p.m. And I don't nap like in between the day. I kind of just get through the day and then I'm like asleep. So we simulated the same kind of situation. So when I checked into the sleep study, I checked in around the time I normally go to bed, around like 9.15. Okay. So by the time they like put up all like the wires or whatever, maybe it was like 10.15, 10.30. So I slept later than normal, mm -hmm. but I still woke up at 5 a.m. They tried to like give me the same like hours, why? They just like moved a little bit. But because I slept that extra hour, when I woke up, I felt like I hadn't slept. And then I normally like don't dream frequently and I normally don't remember all the details of my dreams. Gotcha. Um, so if I had dreamed, like I'll probably remember like, oh, like I did this, but like I don't know who was there. I don't know what happened. I just know that I had this, whatever. But I had two very different dreams and I remember them both very vividly. So that is what like I just didn't sleep deep enough like I normally do because like different environment, like all the mm -hmm. wires and things like that. So I did that or whatever. Now it takes about like a week, I guess, for the doctor to like review like the like labs, I guess, from like a my week. like that's what they said. So they call them by the end of the week. So I'll wait for her call, and then they decide if like I have sleep apnea, if it's something to where like I need to do the sleep study again. Because sometimes people go like continuously, mm -hmm. like they just like monitor like how it works. So you go like once a month or once yeah, every like three you weeks. Or not? There's a camera in the room. Oh, no. You know. Well, you're asleep. You're not like. You grow up. Anyways, so the, like there's like a camera oh, like where like the oh, smoke face. detector is. Okay. So it's just it's just on. Like no one's like staring at me, but like they definitely like check and monitor. Because the guy was like, if like one of my like 
like wires like fell off or whatever they get like notifications like on their system mm -hmm. that he would come back and wake me and he would just like put it back on or something like that but it didn't happen and i just kind of like slept and then i woke up and whatever but yeah and then there's like if for people who have it like it's like really really bad mm -hmm. they do have like face masks that you could wear to kind of like give you more like air as you sleep but honestly do what you gotta do yeah but that's like it's like really big and it's just like noise you gotta like plug it up it's like a whole thing it's not cute but they make these like smaller micro versions mm -hmm. and you kind of it's like almost like a septum piercing size you kind of just like plug it up in your nose and it's very small and i'd rather do that but it's supposed to like open up like your airway it's supposed to like help you breathe a little better or whatever so it doesn't like stop the sleep apnea but it helps keep those like mm -hmm. breaks of like breathing like smaller that's know? interesting yeah um do you typically have like a bedtime routine like or anything I really try just because I have me and I want to keep her on like a certain schedule. So yes, but it's not something that's where it's just like, oh, if I don't do all these things, I can't sleep. It's like, you know, like you do dinner, like a shower, brush my teeth or whatever it is, like lotion up and then, mm -hmm. you know, read her a story, go to bed or something like that. Then like I wake up and I do my stuff. But if I like, I know like shower like later than I expected or if I like did a return into that like I should 10 15 like it doesn't change my like sleep pattern okay. that much gotcha. I don't think do you have a sleep regular like a, like a sleep time regimen type shit hmm. um the most I have is a uh, wake up time for a girl but like I try to fit so much into my schedule I end up not sleeping until like the latest mm -hmm. 12 30 um and then I have a one alarm for 4 30 in the morning so you're asleep at 12.30 and you're up at 4.30? Yeah. That's not I usually go to sleep. I used to go to sleep at like 2. A.M.? Yeah, and I usually wake up at like 6.30. No, that's not great either. Like 6.30 or like 7.15. When I sleep too long, hours. it doesn't... I, mean, you know, I either wake up with a headache or like, I, yeah, like I feel a little tired. But like when I have like the shorter naps like or like shorter sleeping periods, I feel a little bit better. So then when you guys do this like... Three, four hour nightly sleep. Do you take naps during your day? No, or just when you can? No, nah, that's usually like if I'm going to work. So then I'll usually just wake up at like six or seven or whatever, go to work, get home at like seven or eight, and then I'm usually just awake until I go to sleep. Like midnight though, mm -hmm. still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I really take naps. So. Like if I take a nap, it's like quick or it's like. So what do you, so what, what time frame do you consider a nap? Under two hours is a nap. Three hours is I'm bullshitting. I'm, I'm just probably supposed to take a nap, but I'm trying to milk this nap. Four hours is like sleep. Like I'm sleeping. Okay, Aaron. Like if I nap, it's like a power nap. It's like a 15 or 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so, so, right. So there is like, I don't remember the name of the study, but I remember reading an article that was saying that like 20 minute power naps supposedly like really give you like an energy boost in like your day. And I actually don't agree i think that if i take a 20 minute nap or whatever i feel like i tasted sleep and now i'm giving it away and like i wake up and i have a headache and i'm like groggy and like i just i can't so if i'm gonna sleep you're right it has to be like an hour to two mm -hmm. hour type situation or i'll just thug it out until i'm ready to sure. that just might be per person really so they do something well like like so you get up after 15 20 minutes and like you think you slept because when I go to sleep, I feel like it takes me a few minutes to actually fall asleep, for one. Like, fucking I don't just get in bed five. and sleep. Fucking five. Right. So, like, so I feel like by the time that 15 is done... It takes me an hour to go sleep. No, an hour to sleep. When, I'm doing, those, when I'm doing those power naps, it's most likely because I'm already exhausted. Mm -hmm. And then when I take that 15 to 30 minutes, the latest 45 minutes, um, I wake up after the time. So, I mean, it just works for me. Yeah, like I used, I used to like do that after uh, on Tuesday. I used to like take a fifteen minute nap in the car before a game, and then you know, go out there and play football. Like, and you felt okay, I like I because like I would work, I would wake up early, go to work, mm -hmm. go to the field, sleep in my car fifteen minutes, and then play football. And I'd probably be up. Yeah, if I, if I legit, well, yeah. if I legit fall asleep before a game like that, like in like a short increment of time, like thirty forty five minutes. I'll wake up feeling so groggy, bro. Like, and like, I'll need like the smelling salts to like come back, bro. Like, really, like, snap me out of that shit. That shit, yeah, I can't do that shit, bro. Um, like, I, I, I have, I, my sleep schedule is ass. Like, I, I typically get like four hours of sleep a day. But on my day off, on like one of my days off, it's like literally for like sleep. 
Like, so I was asleep probably like 12, 13 hours in a day. Like, or, or one, like today. Like, today was a day, and I was like, like, you know, shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have football on the TV, but I'm not really watching it. I'm a, it's going like to be watching me. Exactly. And I was like, nah. And then, like, on my other day off, I'll get, like, shit down. Do, okay, it's my laundry day. I'm going to do dishes. I'm going to do all this shit. I'm going to go grocery shopping. I'm going to knock all these things out. So I'm still moving around. I'm active. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, on my other days where I actually, like, sleep. You know what I'm saying? But I think but, work schedule plays a big part. Oh, it yes. Because I feel like when I was working, like, fast food and stuff, too, I couldn't do the sleep that I was doing now. Like, it just doesn't make sense mm-hmm. for, like, the work that you, you do. Got closed one day. Yeah, like, it just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. But now that, like, my schedule is, like, very, up. very, like, set, mm-hmm. even when I'm, like, waking up early, I'm, like, yeah, like, I'm getting all these things done. Like, by the end of the day, like, I'm so good. Like, an 8 to 4 is a beautiful thing, y'all. Yeah. Every day is it's a beautiful amazing. thing. A 35-hour work week is a beautiful no, thing. No, no, no. So the only time that I'll actually have a nightmare or, like, bad dreams, quote unquote, is only about work. Really? It's only about work. I haven't had a bad dream last Damn. night, and they're normally not about work. It's my only about work or be about to die. Those are the only two, bro. Oh. So for the longest, for the <laughs> longest time. So dramatic. Ooh, for the longest time, I had it. I just kept having dreams that I was going to have a car accident. Like, Really? When I had my old car, my old um, my Chevy, my silver jump, I kept dreaming I was going to flip that thing over. So I sold it. I was like, well, yeah, if I change cars, this can't happen. So change yeah. cars. Now, now I've never had another dream that had a car again. Never again. So do you think that was like God talking to you? Like trying to let you know, like, get that bitch Possibly. out of there? Because if they just stopped as yeah. soon as the car is over, it was like subconsciously you really thought that something was going to happen. I really to thought you. that it was going to be a wrap. Like I was going to flip that joint. I was going to crash that joint. I was going to spin out something. So I new car. Well, so now, God. yeah. So now, like, I only have dreams about like work, and it's like it's when I feel like I'm like just like just mentally taxed at work, and I'll feel like you know what I'm saying. It's been at like every every type of job I've had. You know what I'm saying? Like even at Aunt Pizza, it was just like felt like you know what I'm saying. I I would have the dream where like I'm the only nigga on the line. And it's not a dream, it's a replay. <laughs> hey, bro, all you hear is a little Uber East Tyler. Ding, 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 and that's it. You just keep, and it just non stop. And niggas just waiting on you, like, bro. And it's just you, you bro. Right? You just like, <laughs> like, you cra- like, you like, you crashing out, like, you really going hard trying to just go. You just spinning your wheels, but you're not getting nowhere. And it's just like, it's crazy, yeah, bro. So, and that's usually when it's like, either I'm about to find a new job or I do go on vacation, so. Well, you're about to take a little vacation, so time is time is running up. Oh yeah, so that's me. Mm-hmm. So Aaron, you said you did a sleep study in the past. Do you have sleep study or not on me? But, oh, I mean, I believe I do though, um, because I have some of the symptoms. I snore. <coughs> um, I think that I stop breathing in my sleep for a few seconds. Also, my the same thing happens to my bed. Mm-hmm. They sleep. do say that it actually happens more to men than to women. Okay, so when you talk in your sleep, is there like a specific like parameter? Because if I'm talking in my sleep, normally I'm really sick. Like I had COVID. Mm. Like I'm like, like I'm sick. Uh, it's not like a cold. Like it's usually a, <laughs> the times that people have told me it was usually like a nightmare or oh, like I am. So sweet. Oh, it's like I mean, sweet. Like like it's like compassionate sweet. Like I feel bad for y'all. I don't know. I don't really care about these nightmares. But like, yeah. Like, Drive my new car. Was, People care. Cause I'm like, fuck it, either kill me or just let me just get <laughs> a new whip, bro. Fuck it. I don't know. Like, I in those nightmares, like, oh, it's just always like somebody's chasing me for some reason, and like, mm. I end up getting away, but like, why the fuck are you trying to get me? So what do I do? <laughs> but like, yeah, like a lot of those times when I talk in my sleep, it's been like a, a, a terrible dream or something like that. Gosh. Mm-hmm. Or when I have like the sleep paralysis joint, like I'm, I'm I don't have that sounds scary. Yeah, and then, like, scary. That shit is terrible. I wonder, I wonder if people ch- multiple I wonder, times. Sometimes I couldn't, I'm like, I couldn't oh. even, I couldn't even fathom the idea of like subconsciously being awake and not being able to move my body. Like now, yeah. like now when it happened, I'm calm through it. Like I'm cool through shit. For a while, like, so how long does it? Because I mean, how long does it last per se? Uh, it depends. I don't know. My, my, go my, perception, go my perception of time is a little off when it when it happens, because I mean, like you can be asleep and it feels mm-hmm. like you're fighting for a few seconds, but that can be like thirty minutes, or like it can actually be a few seconds. And then sometimes, like most of the times, it happens when I'm in the car. Like if I'm not driving, I'm probably going to be sleeping 
out. And how, depending on how long the ride is, I'm gonna be asleep. And like, I'm surprised my the people, I don't know if they know this, but like, I be trying to move and shit, and I just can't move. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, <laughs> that should be crazy. Like, I mean, so like, you try to fight out of it? Yeah. So, and is it successful? I'm sorry. Sometimes is I that, feel like I'm doing it little just doesn't movements, work. but I don't know if anybody ever noticed so for me, it actually ever happened. So for me, the last time I had sleep paralysis, or like one of the, not the last time, but the the, one, the first time it pops in my mind is like, I remember exactly where I was at. I was um, I lived in my old apartment in like uh, Old Town, Germantown. And I was taking a nap. I was, the sun was up. And I was like, I'm taking a nap. Real quick. I was talking about myself. I'm like, all right, I'm like home. Like, like, I'm in matter. the bed. I'm okay. on my side. I'm like, I'm about to get some good sleep, too. I'm on top of the covers, though. Like, I'm uncovered. Like, I'm unprotected. So I'm like, why? <laughs> they caught me. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm laying there or whatever. And, like, a noise, like, startled me. So my eyes opened. But I was just like, the fuck was that noise? And I tried to go back to sleep. Inside, I was like, uh, whatever. I didn't want to sleep. But I, my eyes opened again. And I hear this, like, hard ass footsteps it's not like it's like right behind me but, but it's not like it's like above me okay like it's not like it's like above but it's just like doom doom and it's like getting closer so i'm like this my heart my heart is like <laughs> i'm like hey like, why the fuck can i turn over i'm like yo why can't i turn around and look and see what's going on behind me like why can't i turn around and i'm just like <sighs> and i'm just like Okay, so we're gonna relax. <clears throat> we're gonna relax. This man might be in a, a true face story. So we're gonna relax. We're gonna just, just calm down. Oh deep breath, God. close your eyes, relax, and then we're gonna move. And then, like, maybe, like 20 seconds later, I was like. Telling yourself you're gonna move is hilarious. That was so. scary. But it's like, bro, if you try to, like, you probably gonna have a fucking heart attack. You probably, you probably gonna spin out and die. So, but, like, you just have to relax. You have to, you have to calm yourself down. And like, get yourself to calm the fuck down and just like, get back the to relaxing. Is such a- I've heard one, that joint one, one time, though. One I've never. Like, because I was like, really, I was like, but I wasn't like trying to fight with my whole body. I like, I focused on one area. Like, I do like, your two. Like, like, <laughs> like, chill, son. Like, that's, that's real, so though. Like, crazy. I would like, I would like, I know like move my leg, bro. Like, because it's like, it's like, you and can then like, once move, I start moving like, this one, and then I try to start moving like, like yeah, that's so scary nice, because nice, I feel nice, like no. if I'm laying down and I can't, if I'm like stuck looking up, I couldn't. My mind wouldn't tell me wiggle my toes because I want to see my toes wiggle to know I did something. No, because I feel like if I can't move, I agree. I agree. I'll I agree. feel like my my trying is in vain. Like I have to see the progress. That's crazy. You have to relax. You have to relax. Yeah, I that's hope I never experienced. That's, for me, that's my life key. Like yeah, like when you when you're in. Sleep paralysis mode, bro, and you feel like, oh my god, I need to, oh my god, like, I need to move right now. It's like, bro, just relax, stay calm in the pocket, like just, just lock in real quick, relax, and then, like, you have to like, kind of like fall back to sleep and rewake yeah, up. I, about to say I feel time like time I feel like your your I'm mind woke up and your body is still sleeping, so like, so you reset. Yeah, because because like you know what I'm saying, like the thing that'll stop your body from like acting out your thoughts and your dreams and shit while you're sleeping is like like a chemical like shit that comes to your body so i feel like it's just like your your brain woke up and your body still like chemically induced sleep from the body That's so it's crazy. like your brain is active but your body cannot move so you have to like tell That's your body so, to wake up to like, like yo like hey brain relax a little bit so my body can catch up to you and we can just you know what i'm saying get yeah, back it's rocking so crazy. it's very scary it's wow. very scary so first like, time is very scary Mm-hmm. Um, so is that something that like, like it happens to just like everyone? Are people more prone to it? Because I've never had that. I don't think anyone in my like close family has uh, ever said anything about having sleep paralysis. I, I don't, I don't like, think it's something that people really like, want to talk about in world rap. I don't, it's only happened to me like maybe like three, four times that I can like recall like that it happened. Oh no, that really happened. This is exactly what it was. And that was that. So besides no, this a lot. Oh, hell no. Hell, hell, hell no. Nah. So when you say a lot, what does that mean? I just don't sleep. Okay. Okay. Don't not sleep a lot. Sleep. I don't be sleeping like that all the time. Not like every oh, two, geez. like not like every other night, but I mean like usually like <clears throat> when we go on road trips and like I'm in like. So next week you planning to have one? <laughs> <laughs> like is that what is like going to your mind right now? I mean, shit, I don't know. But um. Man. I don't know, like, yeah, it happened in my him. mom's car quite a few times. Yeah, my B&B, <laughs> different B&B. Hey, yo, cheers. Ooh. 
the 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 time that I have the worst time sleeping is in new places. So like the first night that we end the B and B, I don't know to sleep. I'm so you would have had to sleep there like twice. Like, yeah, because so I had to be familiar to the space. Because I I cannot sleep in like I can't sleep comfortably in a place I've never been, unless I'm like really 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 like drunk or high or tired as fuck. I have to be like something to like and make me go to sleep. I have to go to sleep like circumstances aside. But if I can like be like, damn, I've never been here before. I wonder how you get out of here. Damn, this place kept on fire. Like what? Oh like, my what God. am I doing? Like, it's like I, that's, this guy. That's how my brain be working, bro. If the building got struck by lightning right now, what Ooh. exit? Like, be for real. Dog, I swear to God, like, I, I don't know nobody. Sleep, sleep is <laughs> bad. Sleep is bad. Where is my landmark? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and they, and they, they had a run off for he's lost. Where is my landmark? <laughs> That's crazy. Sleep is very important. Sleep is, guys. wow. So, Aaron, so when you said you used to like, have sleep talk, like, do you, is it just like sleep talk to yourself? The times that, like, people have said something to you about it? Like we're like, 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 you mean like, am I just talking to myself, or are they trying to talk to me while I'm doing it? Both, or, because when I've when I've had it happen to me, what I've been told is either I'm just talking to myself, or I'm having conversations. Mm-hmm. Like I've had like a boyfriend like be in bed with me or whatever, mm-hmm. and like he's talking to me and I'm responding, and I'll wake up the morning and I'll have no idea what he's talking about. Like oh, genuinely yeah. no that's idea what he's talking. Yeah, about. that's that's. To the point where, like, I started getting mad because I was like, "You're lying!" Like, so I was like, "I never yeah, said that." Like, that's happened mean, before. Like, I, like, like, I, last night, no, but like, we like, 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 yeah, like, like, be for real, like, I did, like, what? Oh and I think it happened. God. It happened like it a few times, right? And I was like, but like, just be honest. Just tell me you didn't like. You'd be like, "Oh, like, I'm going to the gym in the morning." Just like little stuff, right? And I'd wake up and like he like wouldn't be there and I'd be like, what's like what I'm gonna do? Like your cat, like just next time just tell me what I should whatever, right? This one time, months later, it happened again and he recorded the conversation. So when I woke up the next day or whatever, was tripping. I was tripping. Yes. I heard myself oh, having wow. a fr- like it was like a two minute recording. That's like insane. I was really like having this conversation. And I would have bet you my entire life savings I never said it. That's insane. Hey, yo, he would have been. <laughs> nah, there's been, there's, been, <clears throat> there's been an instance where. No, but I'm glad he's. I would have yeah, never believed him. There's been an instance where I'm like laying in bed, like with my girl, and I'm having a dream that we're having a conversation. Mm-hmm. And the moment she speaks out loud in real life, I'm like, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. What the fuck did you just say to me? Get out my head. I didn't say nothing. Hey, no, you just said some shit, talking about a puppy or some shit. Like, what? She was like, are you, are you good? I'm Drugs? Like, All right, bro. Whatever. Drugs? <laughs> nice. No, that should be crazy. I'd be sleeping on some wild shit, bro. Yeah, but no, nah, I mean, I some sure. of the joints weren't not necessarily intelligible. <laughs> Couldn't really tell what I was saying. But some of them, yeah, like somebody like was you ever see walk going back and forth. Uh, yeah. You ever see walk before? I almost start walk twice. Y'all would just have these like either you move or you don't move kind of sleeps, and I just talk. oh no, I, I was that's when I was in the trenches. Y'all know I'd be working. This is when I was in the trenches. This is my first job, bro. I was working six days a week. Niggas working six to six every day, six days a week, bro. And I was just burnt, like mentally, I was just burnt, dog. And like my mom, she like called me from like upstairs, and she's like, "Dog, can we your food?" Da, da, da. I'm like, "Oh, I'm like, oh, yeah, all right, bet." I'm about to get in a second. And then she was like, yo, come get this fool. Your eggs will get cold. I'm like, Fuck. So I go downstairs with my eyes closed. Like, I didn't even open my eyes, bro. I ate a whole plate of food. Standing in the kitchen. Ate a whole plate of food, bro. Went smooth back to my room and laid down. I didn't get on the car. I just laid on the head of the bed. I was knocked, bro. Didn't wake up. Was, <laughs> didn't wake up a bit. Mom was like, you didn't hear me just calling you? I'm like, what are you talking about? She was like, because I was calling because you left your juice, you left them there and the stairs, and like you, they, you came to and like you just ate. I was like, I ate already. Mm. She was like, bro, mm-hmm. yes. Food like twenty minutes later, I walked downstairs. I'm like, you gotta eat my food to get to twenty two, and then we ran back upstairs. <laughs> I was tweaking, bro. I was tweaking, bro. My mom was like, my mom was concerned. She was legit concerned. I, I mom is a little too much. She was legit shit. concerned about me. Like, I remember one time <laughs> <laughs> I was fell asleep with like a boy, and she was next to me, and then like. I passed out i didn't even finish it mm-hmm. and like i just know i don't move when i sleep because when i woke up it was still right there 
I would be I'm so pretty sure any other would, person I would like, have that would be all over the uh, I would have fruit I would have started a fire because I see my fucking turtle <laughs> on, the, on the bed and shit. <laughs> uh, 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 but have you ever like I, be done, I mean I really hope this isn't like sleep driving but have you ever like right you've had like the longest shift at work or something it's been a long week you're leaving it's just like restaurant days you like you know you got in your car and you just wind up at home yep mad yeah. times oh how the fuck did that's I get actually the from where i was at to here dog. in my life it happens but not like that entire time it would be like a no. um, it's, it's, like a, it's, a, it's a matrix bro the matrix fuck I, what i think is just like fast forward in my day you drive to me. You drive like home and back like all the time, whatever. It's like you kind of just know, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you don't even like look at the streets anymore. You're just on you kinda, yeah, exactly. Like you're just on mm-hmm. autopilot going home. But I think it's actually like the scariest thing ever oh, after it's done. Like after I get home, I'm like, mm-hmm. how did I get here? Like, I think it's so scary. It, it'll, it'll, happen to me, it'll happen to me more so where I'll be like, how the fuck did I get in this lane? No, I was in. No, see, in this lane. I was two lanes over like a in minute this, ago. In this lane is crazy. That actually is. <laughs> that's, just, that's, no, no, that's happened to me once before. I'll like drive and I'm just like, wait, like, what nah. lane was. But do you ever feel yourself. Oh my god, this is so terrible. We need to like take a break from work. But. <laughs> like, that same situation, right? Like, you swore you started off in like the right lane. You blink and yeah, now you're in the, the left H- lane. I was in the HOV lane. No. Yeah. Now I'm in the middle you lane. Never had, no, no, no. That's uh, actually really scary. That's because trippy. You think. Blink for like a second, but when you're exhausted, mm-hmm. a like a half a second blink can be two minutes. You're can be driving? thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah. Oh, once that I fell shit asleep. Is, I fell asleep driving once. Once, <laughs> once is no, no, no. a luxury. Man. I, I fell asleep driving once. It was when I was. I think when it happened, I think I called you right afterwards. It was when I was driving home from Ohio a couple of years ago. Oh, I that shit. And I was like, because the drive from Ohio is like seven or so hours, whatever it is, and I think. Some stuff had happened before I left, so I was not, like, in the happiest mood, like, mm-hmm. leaving or whatever. And I was exhausted, but, like, my, like, anger and my frustration was, like, really fueling my drive. Like, I was like, I'm getting home. Like, I'm leaving Ohio. Like, fuck Ohio. <laughs> and I remember I, like, I drove past. You had to go, like, Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia. Like, I was in Maryland. Like, if you're going towards, like, I don't know, like, Ohio, like, Pennsylvania, like, that direction, like, mm-hmm. past, like, Frederick or whatever it is, there's a rest stop, like, 50 minutes, maybe an hour and 15 from here. And I remember getting to the rest stop and I was like, all right, I'm almost home. Mia was like in, the, in like asleep in the back of the car. I was like, I'm almost home. And I left the rest stop and it's like down this like canyon kind of road. Mm-hmm. So after I passed the canyon like road, I was back on like the regular like kind of like highway. I remember I blinked, oh, no. I blinked. And I scratched the entire side of my car on one of those, like, um, the rails. The guard rail. Yeah, yeah, the guard rails, right? And then I think, and then, right? No, 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 no. Well, I'm saying that's what happened. Mm-hmm. And then I stopped, and then I woke up and was like, oh, my God, like, what the fuck? And I think I called you, and then you were like, I'm good, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine, or whatever. And I was, like, scared. But I think, like, it's only because we had talked earlier that day. I was like, I think Duck's still up. I can call him. Like, it's fine. Because I was like, if I call my mom, she's going to panic. If I call, like... Other people are gonna panic. I was like, Doug, he'll, he'll be calm. He'll talk me through it. Or something I called you, and then whatever. But what I think is so crazy though is that that like, thank God there was like the guardrail there. Cause imagine I had just went into like the ditch All the way over. Oh, with my ditch. kid asleep in the car the at like four crazy. months old. Like, the ditch is crazy. I feel you. Like the car was like fucked up, but it was like drywall. It was just like a bad like scratch or whatever, and like a little dent. But like I mean, the car, the doors closed. Like it was fine. Mia slept through the whole thing. Like she she did not wake up. That's insane. Yeah, and I'm just like this could have been like like so bad. Yeah. One of my favorite types of YouTube videos to watch on YouTube is car crashes. Oh my god! And it'll show like based off of the car crash. Yeah, that's what you had. The you percent know. survivability of that crash. I'm, like, I don't watch videos like that. I don't like those thoughts. But they're, 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 no, 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 a lot of them just is like it'll be like animated, so it's like. Mm. Yeah, I'm like, 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 love that shit. Great show. Thousand ways to die and Mythbusters, goaded. Like that was prime. If you're too young for that, good shit. All right, so explain the explain the game to us. Please. All right, today's game. Oh, That's a body. Okay, so 
for related <laughs> terms. Um, so you know how like sometimes your significant other just like I guess your opposite of like do things and you're like ooh like why do they do that like that's a body you know what I mean something like that. So for example, if like we're talking about if um, as like a male's perspective or whatever, if your girlfriend or a girl has a male trainer like at the gym for personal training. That's a body. Because why do you have this man looking at you work out, telling you how to fix things, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. That might be a body. For me, for example. Might is crazy. Well, I don't know how Definitely. many bodies. That's just one body? At least two. That's two bodies of her, her trainers, man. You rotate trainers, bro. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean you rotate trainers? <laughs> why? <laughs> if one guy is getting it done, why, why do we rotate? I have multiple trainers, bro. You have multiple trainers before? Mm -hmm. Women trainers or just men? Uh, <laughs> that's a body, ladies. That was cat, a body. Cat. That was not a body. I'm Why do you need her to train you, Doug? I'm, look, I signed up on the app. Whoever they assigned that's me, that's a fucking body. I just go here, bro. Anyways, but you get the concept. So, gentlemen, Aaron, you start us off. I got to start it off. Okay, Doug, you start us oh, off. Fuck. Okay, I'll start it off. <laughs> Two bodies. That's, that's two bodies. Oh like my god, that's three. Cool. That's cool. No, but yeah, yeah. I, I know. Y'all fit. Like, right, y'all, yeah, y'all. That's a body. That's that's, that's three bodies. That's the group. So oh, if man. that's not just me for other, keep your utensils to yourself. I course. was about to say share a drink. That's dang near the same. Yeah, think of something else. Share a drink is not as bad. What do you mean share a drink? Like the waterfall at home. Knock it off. Somebody like, <coughs> knock, knock it off. 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 Knock it that's a body. We are not five anymore, okay? We are adults. Get a fucking water bottle. Y'all That's a body. Wildin', bro. That's a body. Doug, it's your turn. Um, <laughs> if someone refers to someone else as work husband or work wife. That's two bodies. Oh, yeah. Because why y'all comfortable? That's two bodies. Like right. And then why you have y'all say that to me? Home? That's, that's two bodies. bringing you lunch and shit to that's breakfast and shit bodies. to work. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> That's three. That's another one. God dang it. That takes okay. a level of commitment. Uh -oh. If if a girl that's not your girl or like your family member posts a picture in your car, that's crazy. That's two bodies. <coughs> that's two bodies. Because it's not that she was in your car. It's the fact that she had such a great time. She needed to post it's a picture and to remember the it's moment. That's two bodies. Block her. I hate that shit. <laughs> no, I mean, I hate that that happens to people. And she that's takes crazy. a guy to go shopping and try on clothes. That's 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 a body. Cause why does she need his opinion? Where you at? Yeah. I get it. If you get in the car and the seat is too far back for you, play. I, I don't know. like that. Cause what does that what does that even mean? I mean, there's a little bigger nigga in this car than he. Oh me. my god. We have a problem. Or it was her father. Or it was her, her big ass friend. What do you mean? You know, every day the girl used to have a thing. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Okay. If <laughs> if you went to the club or you went out and a, a girl is cold and you gave her your jacket, that's a body. Damn. Why, nah, nah. Why are you fucking I'm like giving her a regular like, nice ass jacket? You're jacket. crazy. Oh my. Because if I got a jacket on, it's not, it's nice. But Abe is going to be at least kind of nice. My business. And then no, I got. That's a body. No. And she won't touch my pocket. That's a body. It's oh, y'all personal. Y'all about to get the glitter that's on the body. inside. That's a body. About to get her perfume all over it. Yeah, oh, you that's a body and a half. You in trouble, man. You in trouble. Oh my god. I love getting, getting stressed. I'm not even doing it. It's crazy as fuck, bro. These niggas got hot in here and shit. Nah, I ain't go. Ooh, you told me to wear a sweater. Uh, damn. There has to be some X. I don't it's even. Something. I ain't getting about it like that. Oh. <laughs> Laughing too hard at another guy's joke. 
Okay. See, it's not it's not laughing too hard for me. It's the it's the <laughs> it's the physical contact with the laugh that'll get that'll have me set off. I'll I'll blow some shit up. Like that nigga was not that funny. Or especially if it wasn't funny, you know, why are you laughing so damn hard? Yeah. You ever seen that too. chance the rapper and Charles Gambino and like the meme with Jay Echo in the middle when you finally bring your girl around your homeboys and they start coming comedians? Oh, that's um, that's you ever seen that? Right. Yo, yes. so this nigga in the action. Um, if you um are in a position where someone asks you, "Oh, where my hug at?" or you don't know nobody no more, that's not your fault. That's that. That's not your fault. Why? Why is that her punishment? Why is that body for her? If you with your nigga at I don't know what the album but I don't do you like that. Never. I don't do like y'all. Y'all out, out somewhere and someone's like. So I'm sorry, like, oh, you don't know me no more, or like, oh, you a stranger, da, da, da. But that's not his fault. That is his, that, that's his old work, though. That could be his old work, but the point is, it's old work. Oh, if it's, no, oh, no. stranger, oh, it's been a minute, where's my hug at? Where's my Obviously, hug at? It's crazy, yes, though. Yes, for sure. It's not disrespectful, because who the fuck are you talking to about my presence? Oh that's my God. crazy. In I front agree. of my presence. Uh, nah, because if you want to yeah. do wild shit, one-on-one, that's wild shit. But if I have the audacity to say wild shit knowing I'm saying that with my man, you want to fight. Anyway. Does that ever happen to you in public? Like somebody Fuck. tried you? I just know better. Could never. Could never. No, because I've had, like, exes cheat, and i have no, never. No ever shawty's ever hit my phone, like, let me hit you woman to woman. Like, no. Woman to woman. No. That's crazy. No, no one has ever seen me with my man in public and be like, oh, hey, like, no. Sorry, sure. the last hey you ever said in your life. Damn, can you? No, the next hey so you want, is to go. All right, all right, hold, hold, hold. We're going to switch gears. We're going to switch gears. So you telling me if a shawty was like, yo, like, if a shawty came to you as a woman, mm-hmm. you're going to be, like, beefing with the shawty? No. I think it depends on how she starts the conversation. She's like, yo, like. If a girl hits my phone. This happened and like, I didn't know. And I'm just coming to you because I found out. I'm letting you know. And that was some garbage shit. And I don't get that Prove like it. That. Because okay. sometimes people just talk the talk. And sometimes it'd be people who want to be in your position that say things just to piss you off. So if a girl hit my phone on some bay, if a girl hit my phone very respectful, like, hey, mm-hmm. like, I met person X or whatever, this happened, I didn't know about you, I found out about mm-hmm. you, whatever, whatever, here's like screenshots of him texting me or here's the phone number he gave me and it's actually my man's number, like, all right, cool, like, yes, I date him, like, you got him now, I don't want him, like, whatever. But I'm not mad at you because she doesn't owe me any loyalty. My man, however, will hear every word I have to say and then I will block him. Because we're not arguing this year. One thing we're not doing this year is going back and forth, ever. Um, but yeah, but if she hit me on some very disrespectful stuff, like, hey, ha ha, like, I fucked your man. That's like, crazy. like, bet, say that. And then I want to fight you. Why you got to be so ignorant? What? No, I'm saying, like, why do you got to be so ignorant? Like, oh, I mean, niggas, 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 niggas will make yeah, it, bro. Niggas will make it, bro. It really just depends on the situation. If it's really, it's like, I feel like really that's, more of, a, that's more of a woman like, thing. Why are they so proud of that? What is to be proud of? Because sometimes bitches just want what you have. I feel like women women were more so gloat. Niggas will be like, oh, it just is what it is. I feel like another thing is men don't say as much. I feel like, like, like women have like a very like. There's like a, there's a prideful kind of thing mm-hmm. behind like oh I took your man or oh ha 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 like your man wants me or whatever blah blah blah, and men I feel like y'all are some dogs and y'all do just... <laughs> no honestly what I feel like fuck? because you guys you guys do them not you them. you and Aaron but men I mean, why cool? okay do things like that for the sake of doing the things. Like, you don't need anybody to know that you hit. You don't need anybody to know that you, you got caught up in whatever. But you're going to see it through if you think you can get away with it. Women, however, they were like, I feel like we, we plot a little bit more. Because we don't want a, a hookup real quick for the most part. We want the relationship. I mm-hmm. quote unquote, I like how you treated her. Or I like how you treat her. That's what I want. So if I want you, you're going to treat me. Is where I think it is more than just like I'm having sex to have sex kind of thing. So if I, quote unquote, if I took him from you. Now I'm playing your face. Like, I took him from you. Now we can talk about it. Haha. But no, nah, I feel like niggas don't do that. That's terrible. It is terrible, 100%, which is why if she came to me very respectfully and she was like, hey, like, 
She could even tell me she hit on him first, and I would be okay. Mm -hmm. Because, again, if she didn't know, like, it's not her job to know I date a certain person. Correct. It's my person's job to, like, make it very clear mm -hmm. that he's in a relationship. So and then, I, so then, that entails the question. Mm -hmm. How would you want your significant other to, like, shut that down? It's like, because I was told that saying, sorry, I have a girlfriend is improper and you shouldn't do it. Don't say that. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> like, no, oh, hey, you cute as fuck, da 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 Oh, you know, sorry, I have a girlfriend. Because I'm why are you sorry? <laughs> because if you say you're sorry, it's because you've done something wrong. You're taking some type of accountability. If you hurt somebody's feelings, I'm sorry. Because I'm potentially hurting someone's feelings. It doesn't matter. Because why? why okay, this is a complete stranger. Mm -hmm. You don't know this person Possibly. from anywhere. Possibly. Okay, but in your particular uh -huh. situation, you said, hey, I think you're really cute or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So you don't know her from anywhere. Should I walk into a bar, hey, I think you're cute, whatever, whatever. You don't you. know her well enough to care about her feelings. Are you allowed to say thank you? Are you allowed to say thank you? No, you can say thank you. You can say thank you, 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 know, yeah, you, say thank you because see that all that face hey, stuff. You know. that, <laughs> that will get you locked out. Locks change. Oh my god! You said thank you because I, I asked. You. I asked. I, 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 well, I just said yo. No, are you allowed to say thank you? Say thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. No, say thank you. Sorry, you know I got girl. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't like the sorry I got girl. I mean, like, it's just the the common courtesy thing to do. Like, what is you say that you say sorry, or like in a lot of instances in your life when you're not really sorry. But I mean, like now that it involves somebody going smack at you and you have a girlfriend, now it's not acceptable. Now we can't do that. Do you want to hear like, why I would say sorry? I feel like because it takes a lot for someone to put themselves out there first and be like, "Yo, like, I think you're attractive," or "Hey, I think you." Cute, or I, I think I like the way you dress. I, I, I love your haircut, center, like whatever, right? It takes like a certain type of person to put themselves out there. And you know what I'm saying? If I'm like going to reject you, be like, hey, I have a girlfriend, I'm, like, I'm sorry. I feel like that's calm, like that's cool. I don't like Is that. It, like, you don't like. All right, yes, so, so what? I, okay, I how, how, like. do you, how do you, how would you have your significant other hand in that situation? So, Hey, I think you're really cute. Do you want to text? Do you want to whatever and go out drinks? Hey, thanks. I have a girlfriend. That's the conversation. I see you exactly. Appreciate it. I have a I girlfriend. Exactly. Oh, now you're appreciating bitches? Thank like, you. No, 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 no. Because like you said, I think, it's, I think it's normal to uh, get a compliment indeed. and say thank you. Because like you said, she didn't have to tell you you were cute. She didn't have to tell you shot you were funny. She didn't have to whatever. Mm -hmm. So you appreciate that. Thank you. Indeed. I have a girlfriend. It's the no, the sorry. Shit, the same thing. It's the That's same like thing. saying like I love you and love you. It doesn't. It's not, it doesn't hit the same. The I matters. Definitely not the same. It is. Not, it's not, that's not. Then no, I'm saying it's not the same. No, I'm, I'm, that's like a, a good comparison though. Like, yeah, I feel like I feel like. Hey, sorry, I have a girl. It's like I'm letting you down easy. Nah, I got a girl. Keep the fuck off of me. No, like, see, that's I didn't cuss. I didn't cuss. I didn't like, like, Max. I literally I'm said, just saying, but like, thank you. I have a girlfriend. That's crazy. Like, like have a nice night, though. Like, if you're at a bar with your friends mm -hmm. and a girl is like real bold and yeah, she like and buys you a drink, have a nice night. Might as well just people, say sorry. People do that before. No, people, oh. people do that before. They like, hey, can you buy this drink for that person sitting mm -hmm. over there? They're like, hey, the girl at the bar, whatever, got you drink. No, see you wild. <laughs> Like, thank you. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But that's joke. Like, like, you can even drink the drink. I don't want to be bad. Hell yeah, you, gotta, like, you have to drink the drink. drink. You don't have to. I'm going to drink the drink. Okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh. On a tangent, mm -hmm. if your girlfriend goes to a club with her friends or just out with her friends and guys buy her drinks, are you upset? No matter or no. You're not there. No. Aaron? She wasn't like she's not flirting with guys. She's not doing things just like guys. Like, oh, she's pretty. Hey, I'm about to buy her a drink. And they just buy her drinks. Not even like long conversation. Just hey, what are you drinking? Let me buy you something. And you know what I'm saying? Are you upset? There's no money. There's no money. You, you save my girl money with me. You give her like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> well, no, my girl got money. I like that. I, <laughs> I was money say, I mean, was like, money for you is crazy. I was like, money for you is crazy. For the Uber Eats in the morning, like, yeah, come no, on, bro. I, I, yeah, I'm about I, yeah. with that. I'm with that. Because I've heard the discussion that some men don't like it because it's just like, well, why would you pay for? It? Why would you have to pay for a dream? If I'm if I'm there, if I'm there, if I'm there, that's a different story. 
But I'm not there. I'm just so what if? What if? I don't know. Why is she? Um, so you're, some people so, would be like, why is she even there? Why is she even in? in she's in, not. In she's court? not in jail. Like you go out, she can go out. Like there's not to be a club. There could be a restaurant or whatever. I don't be doing clubs. Okay. Well, wherever she went, they, if it was a coffee shop, it could be a Starbucks, and the man bought her her Starbucks. Is that like, are you upset if you're not there? No, that's not true. Because that's I not like even it's the, the culture. It's the point. Yeah. But anyways, okay, okay, okay. Like, but so the first no, situation. No, I think it would be like, you know, buy my shit and the person behind me drink. Yeah. And then no, I'm not going to pay drink. for that shit. Come on, okay. bro. This is, a, this is a direct, I'm going to buy that shawty's drink okay. for a reason. So, so, Not no pay for forward ass shit. Okay, so now, right? Leave now let's say. Drink in the club, <laughs> in the club. Oh my gosh. So now let's say you are in the club, right? Right? Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah, let me buy you a drink. And then she's like, oh, buy me two, one for me and my friend. And she comes and she brings you a drink. Are you mad? No, I just. Because now, now she's mad. <laughs> so now you both get a drink for free. Are you so angry that another now I'm drinks? Now I'm mad. Now I'm mad. Why? Because you potentially put me in some shit. Because if you said, hey, you said for my friend. I ain't well, your fucking do friend. Do you think, sure, but I think it was the point to get the drink. But do what you I'm, think that if she was like, oh, buy a drink for me and yeah. my man? Yeah, I think it was the finesse. No, no, no. I wouldn't no, be mad. No, bro, because you said my friend. So now if that nigga pull up over here and think I'm just no, your friend. No, 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 no. He, he doesn't also, even see you. Like, in his brain, me and my friend is me and my homegirl. So he's buying drinks for me and my homegirl. That's a lot to remission. That's a lot to remission. That's okay. Just be like, That's okay. But like you said, yes something finesse. No, nah, I'm cool. If a, if a girl, if I was at the club with my girl or with my with my man, if I was at a restaurant with my man and I wasn't standing with him and he went to the bar and a girl was like, hey, let me buy you a drink. And he somehow managed to get this girl to buy him two drinks and he brought him back one, I wouldn't be mad. Mm. I would not be mad. But you said, Cheers. I only took off basically what you said verbatim. Buy one for me and my friend. Yeah. Negative. I'm not your fucking friend, Charlie. So that's okay. That's what y'all be. That's what y'all be chopped. So she was like, he just like, oh, buy me two. Uh huh. And then just like, fuck it. All right, boom. And uh -huh. then she was just like, yo, I got two free drinks. This nigga want to buy me a drink. He and I told him buy me two, one for you. I'd be like, I, 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 I. So I that just, doesn't make you the same amount of mad because it's so gotcha. I was being perplexed. I'd just be like. But I feel like the situation okay. is the same because you're not her friend. But, but she, if now she this just man said, comes, nah, me too. Yeah, but now if this man comes to find her after buying her two drinks and she's standing with you, you're still in some shit. Nah, because he don't know. Because he don't know. You know what I'm saying? Who I am. That I could just be a random nigga that's just trying to go smack two. But my game worked, or I could be her actual nigga. You never know. So he would test the if if he decided to test the waters, he would test the waters way more timidly than he would if I wasn't standing there. You know what I'm saying? But if he see me sitting right next to her, and like, even if we like this distance apart, like you know what I'm saying, like be like a little bit of distance between us, like a nigga would have to be bold as shit to come over there and be like, hey, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you gonna do those drinks I gave you earlier? Ah, 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 could I have your number? While another nigga is sitting a foot away, like you are a bold man. And in that instance, I probably wouldn't say nothing. I would leave it to her to say nothing as long as you don't say nothing like crazy wild. Mm -hmm. So you just play like you didn't see it. No, nah, I seem to, I'm a look at the nigga, but I'm just blurred to him. Like, he talk, he's not talking to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, but. So at the end of the night, then, would you be mad at her because he still came to ask for her number? As long as she ain't be on no, like, goofy airhead shit, I don't really care. Speaking wow, of situation. licka, 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you go to a house party, you get invited to a party, you're like, all right, I'm going to bring something, you know, I'm going to bring a bottle of little Don Julio or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. You get to the party, everybody's sipping, it's like potlucks, everybody brought something, right? At the end of the night, if your bottle still has liquor in it, like enough liquor to where it's not like one shot, I'm about to go, do you leave the bottle at the party or you take the bottle because you purchased it? Uh, what's, I mean, she's, Another question to ask for that is like, what kind of party is it? Like, is it one of those bring your own bottles, aka meaning that like that liquor is on you, or is no, it bring? No, this is this is not a personal party. Oh, so like, it's for a potluck. Like, yeah, this is it. not a BYOB BYOB mm -hmm. w, w, w party. Yeah, W party. Then you leave. Then you leave it. I mean, if nobody touches my shit, I'm like, all right, fuck y'all. <laughs> you don't need to touch my shit. No, I mean, what if they do? What, what if like they've been sipping, but it's like hella bottles on the table, maybe like. It's not they just don't like your shit. Just something else already open before you put up there, and they're like, "Let's finish this first or whatever." But the point is the same. You take the bottle you, because you you bought this bottle. 
and I feel like we don't drink cheap liquor, so maybe this bottle costs you like 40, 50 plus dollars. So are you taking this bottle or are you leaving it? You just said forty dollars is cheap. Um, forty dollars is cheap. For a bottle, that's very cheap. For oh, for a bottle. Shape? Casamigos, Don Julio, oh, yeah. I'm not a, I'm not a, Casamigos, it's like I'm like a Jose Quay. Actually, that's the, like the thirty dollars. Yeah, the prices change. Yeah. No, like, it depends on, depend on what city you went to, what county you went to, and what's high and what's not. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, so give then you guys give me then if I was cheap, give me a a decent range bottle for a friend's party. Probably like Casamigos. Which averages about 65. what? 65. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. bought a 65, $70 bottle of alcohol. Mm -hmm. Do you leave it at the party or you take it with you? You always leave the party. You I, always leave. I feel like you leave it. You, know, you always pull up, bro. You pull up, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, we're going to these, we're, we put this shit up. Go in the kitchen. All right, boom. Happy party. Everything's cool. You know what I'm saying? Damn, we didn't tap this job. We didn't hit the, we didn't even open this cost amigos. So now, Shit, I might do something in like two, three days. We got Thursday night football coming around, like the Lakers game coming up. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody come back. Well, not everybody, but like come back to my career <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? We can just watch the we can just watch the game. We got bottles here already. We can just kick back. It can just be used for a future event. So what if that is like, happening? What if there's no part two? Can like, you just leave it? Yeah, like for sure. Because like, if I go, I some, it's real selfish if I go to somebody's house or function, it's because I fuck with that person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or I fuck with somebody who's affiliated with that person. So it's just like it's 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 all love. So I'm just giving it just because like. If I couldn't afford it, then I definitely would have bought Amsterdam. Right. If I couldn't afford to not have it, then like Amsterdam would be exactly like, like $17.99. Oh my God. There you go, bye bye. That's for me. <laughs> <laughs> so that shit right there. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. I have had it. I agree. Like, I, think, so fuck that. I think the point I think the point of bringing like a bottle or whatever, especially it's like, it's for like the group. Like you didn't buy the bottle to drink it by yourself. You just drink at home pregame and then put up with nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you brought it to like, yeah. Like for like the camaraderie, when you leave, you've already like had those moments. You've already like joined the party. You can't just take what you brought back. That's, That's crazy. crazy. That's insane. That's, I pay for club and shit. I get my money back because I'm leaving the club. Yeah. Like that don't that don't hit. I don't have a good time. Yeah, that don't that don't. That's chalk it up to the game. So we all on the same page for real then. Yeah, Hunter, right? Hunter, I feel like that's just real nigga etiquette, bro. Like, I agree. And I've been I I've been in places where I've I've thrown functions. And niggas have brung bottles and like, hey, bro, and niggas like, fuck with this, y'all. I'm gonna just take it with me. And I'm not gonna be like, no, you brung it for me. Like, I'm. Yeah. But I definitely, I definitely peep it. I'm gonna I look at you. I'm gonna look at you sideways. Like, you that type of person. Because niggas is cheap. Yeah. Niggas be broke. But then it's like, like you said, there's passion. <laughs> <actually, laughs> if, if you don't plan on spending, or if you don't even want to spend a lot of money on like other people, don't. You can buy something cheaper. Like, I feel like. Honestly, if you mix any type of little call with some type of cheese or some type of whatever, it it'll get the, the job done. It all tastes the same. Like, you might have a stronger headache in the morning, mm -hmm. but again, you chalk it up to the game. Uh, is niggas it is. was talking about mad MD 2020. I worked every day, what bro. What is that? You know MD 2020? Like the mad dog? Damn, y'all niggas are young. Uh, oh, my God. It's like $12. Vodka I and mean, it's in a like plastic bottle. Bottles. It's in a plastic bottle. Plastic bottles bottle is already a red flag. Wow. Because that plastic and liquor freak is that not hose, supposed to. Nigga, it's going to get wicked. Like, this oh whole night God. will be That's sideways. Mad. Now like, we got to get some. M's, no they still, do they still make it? Mm -hmm. You got to go to like, the hood, though. You got to go to like, <laughs> yeah, you gotta go to, like the yeah. trenches. Like, that sounds like a party. You got to go to like, green belt or something. That's like a party that you won't remember. They got They be having like wild flavors. They take shots. Like, drink it, drink like that, it, like. the bottle like this tall, and it's like, but it's plastic, and it's just like you squeeze the joke. You are can't, you can squeeze that hoe, <laughs> bro. Fool, I'm telling you, but you drink that shit, you will have a wild experience. If you had a choice between 100k right now, direct deposit, cash app, like you really <coughs> just got that whole moment. Uh, maybe not like, cash app. That's crazy. Fine, not cash app. I'm gonna taste it. Mm -hmm. All right, direct deposit, Apple Pay, whatever. The point is you get the money in Gosh. seconds, right? In seconds. You can spend it in 10 minutes if you want to. 100K right now. I could spend 100K in 10 minutes. If we're right. Or I'd buy a house and like another car or something. Pay off school. Like, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, anyway, so 100, 100K <laughs> within minutes, right? Guaranteed. No strings attached. No taxes taken out. Just a flat 100K or a 50-50 flip a coin. For ten million dollars right now. Obviously, if you hit, you get ten mil. If you miss, uh, you walk away empty. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, how are you feeling? 
You would take my chances. I agree. Give me the, give me the honey cake, honey rats. Give me honey rats. Grass, grass already against my nature to like just rats. flip the coin, but like. Do you life. think you normally take the safer bet? Do you just take the money? I would usually take the safer one, but at this point. Yeah, because the 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 chance of walking away with nothing is too real. It's just like I. When, I hear you. Because if bro, like look, boom, right? So you, the nigga walk up to you. Yo, this is hundred racks in this bag. This is what ten mil. Ten mil. In Ooh, these two briefcases, truck, right? Boom. Somewhere you can one. take this hundred racks right now, or you can flip a coin for the ten mil. You just hand me the ten k right now. I'm out of you. I'm gone. Like. Okay. No hullabaloo. I, I do. I do hear what you're that. saying because security is important. I get that. I just feel like. The, the temptation the, of it. It's not even Never. the no no no. It's not even the temptation. It's the fact that the amount is so drastically different. If it was like just I'll zeros, give you, bro. you're stupid. <laughs> it is two, two zeros. zeros. But if it was again, if it was like, hey, I have a hundred k, take it or leave it right now. Flip a coin, a hundred and fifty. That fifty k is not oh, worth bro. it to me. I'll mm -hmm. take the one hundred and I'll be happy I got the one hundred. Oh. But like. Because again, right now you, you quote unquote, you have nothing. So if I flip for the, the 100 or the, the 10 million, if I don't hit it, then I'll you feel be like a jackass. No, no, no. I won't, had I won't, the 100 it's right okay. in front it's of you. Okay. It's okay. Because yeah. I'm still living my life peacefully. Like, I, the 100 would be nice, but the 10 million mm -hmm. is a different life. I'm conservative. No, I, I'll take it. Yeah, bro, I'll take it. I would just, because it's, it's guaranteed. I'll take, I'll take the guaranteed easy route. Like the guaranteed yeah, money is right in front of my. Nigga. I get it, but I would take the chance. I would. I would. Go for, for but for money. for a hundred, if I got a hundred k, like that, I still would have worked tomorrow like the next day. Oh, for sure. I You're feel like if I got ten k, how long do you think that's gonna last you? A hundred, a hundred rats, probably like two months. It only lasts you two months. That's what you're saying? Because you gotta spend money. That's what it is. Yeah. You're not like. But I'm. But I'm gonna set myself up to be in like a better like. Life position. Maybe. I would definitely try for the 10, the 10 mil. Yeah, but then, I even if I hit the 10 mil, I would still go to work. I think it's because, no, 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 I think it's because truly, when you, I think when you wind up having a lot of money just very randomly, if other people know you have money around you, they start. There will be too many signs. I agree. Not. There will be too That's many signs. That's what I'm signs. saying. I would. No, 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 no. What I would do is, what I would do is, I would have the money, right? Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't say I had the money. I would just start doing little things a little nice. bit. If you don't think I'm going to notice. How would you not think I'll I'll like, the same car? I'll wear the same clothes. Nah, hell I'll no. still take the same trips. I'm like, gonna nothing. Nothing you, just look, you already got like a, a bougie type of borderline bougie person. <laughs> if that shit just like. I think oh I live my life pretty comfortably. Like, so I'm, I'm kind of a little bit, I think I live my life pretty comfortably that, like, if I just had a little bit extra money, I don't think people would. I have to do I something would. crazy. No. no, no, I have to do something like, oh, I just oh, bought another new car. Mama, I would or I just, I have to do something. You would let it slip. Like, you would say it in, like, some way, like, no, like, I just feel like, like, like I want to lunch. Some, I got it. That's like, like wholesome. Like, you know, some wholesome shit, but I'd be like, what do you mean? But oh yeah, you know, I was looking to this thing for you know Mia and it's this Roth IRA fund and I'd be like, what? But I do that now. And I don't have ten million dollars lying around. Like, right, bro. I'm like, uh, I'm like I pocket watch you a little bit closer. That's crazy. Like, bro, I'm like, I'm start pocket watching all twenty twenty four, bro. See, I don't you. never know. Nah. That's cap. Nigga, I would see you in like infinite Nike tech suits and some shit, and you would soup up your car. Whole suit. That you would soup so your car up, bro. I already know, bro. I already know, bro. What I see Aaron's oh, Aaron's car page. Like, I'm gonna be like, nah, this nigga getting too much paper, bro. Yeah. Nobody yeah. probably ever see me again. That's Real shit, crazy. I just be. That's crazy. Open everybody. Because I'm I just... feel like if I have ten million dollars <clears> in <throat> my bank account today, I'm gonna I would Arabia. I would pay for my mother's house. I just pay off the rest of it. Whatever. <clears throat> I would buy myself a house mm -hmm. somewhere. I'm buying multiple houses. Well, baby steps. I would invest a little bit. I'd pay for school. I'd pay for me in school. Like I would get things like very very set. Mm -hmm. But I feel like. Money goes by really fast, like mm -hmm. faster than people mm -hmm. like prepare for. I think, and I think a lot of these people don't have to save money, people don't have to manage money, but that's for another day. Correct. But I feel like because I know those things, I wouldn't be in a rush to spend the money. Like I'd really try to like hold it as long as I could. I respect you for that. Cause 
I have it today. I still want to have it tomorrow. I still want to have it ten years from now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I want to have more than that too. Of course, but home. then you then you invest yeah, and then you put yourself you get like Airbnbs and like you do things to grow the tent for sure, for sure. But that's investment. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I'm not just buying stuff. It's like ooh, like I want this. Like ah, like I nah. Bruh, I'm going on vacation, but I do that anyways. See it, bro. I do that like, anyways. I travel anyways. Nothing you know, those the, are those the Back to the Future shoes. I'm like, my oh, no. <laughs> Air Max. Yeah. My uh, yeah. I'm not even that much of a material person. I agree. I don't even know that materialistic. I, I, I love material. I don't even know what I'm really? You're like a high luxe brand kind of person. No, <clears throat> but I like my shit. I agree. I like some nice shit. I agree. It's just like I I can constitute spending. Three hundred dollars on a shirt. Like, I don't really like this shirt. Like, but there, but people are like that. Cause there are people like that who who don't care how much it is for clothes or shoes that they like. There are people who don't give a fuck about the clothes, but they want to like eat really good food and they don't care how much the food costs. But I'm eating great. Or there's people like me Obviously. who I'm okay with all those things. But if I'm on a flight, I'm on a flight. It's like. Mm-hmm. I'm going somewhere. Like don't ask me how I'm paying for things. We're here. Okay. We'll figure out the rest when we get back. Oh, and enjoy you. yourself. Yeah, like, yeah. splurge. Treat mm-hmm. yourself. I don't splurge. I I'm, not saying, I'm saying splurge, I'll but I say, I'm I like, fuck. I'm, I'm really never a debt traveler, but I travel. Like, any chance, like, I, I love like to travel. Yeah, I heard about you. Yeah, we know about you. <laughs> nah, <laughs> we, heard, we heard about you. Yeah. You're a yeah. yeah, You see me with that, uh, that Nike weight room set joint with the, uh, the rack, uh, rack squat bar and mm-hmm. all that stuff. Then you know I have it. They're gonna have a personal fucking basketball court in this crib. The crib he got right now. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Knock out the neighbor's house. Put a you gotta get it. You have to leave. I'm buying you. a whole street. Yeah, you have to leave now. Right. Speaking of like, you know what I'm saying? New money, new shit like that. Do y'all have New Year's resolution? Because it is like 2024 and shit. Like, do y'all have. Do y'all still do that shit? No. Like, I, I, I feel like New Year's resolutions is like dying off and like. All I hear is, oh, I'm in the gym. I'm back in the gym Tony, like, in January. Yeah, that's all I hear that's like Consistent. still like prevalent. Yeah. I feel like I agree. I think they've died down some. Because I think people realize like you don't have to start for the New Year's. Just be better. You can just be better like tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but I, I do think... wait for Monday a lot. I'm like, oh, Monday I'll do it. Now. Really? Mm-hmm. It's John like Wednesday right now. I'm like, Monday I'll start. That's better. so funny. Um, no. So I think what I have is I don't have like. Oh, I'm in the gym every day kind of situations, but I think I have like more so like mindset things. Like I actually, <laughs> I really hate that people would be like, "Oh, you're such a crybaby," or "You're so sensitive." Like, no, if I'm being so serious, I genuinely like I hate it. Oh, I'll give you a second to laugh. It's okay. Take a nap. It wasn't it's okay. me. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It, it wasn't right. me. All I said was it. Who right? was it? <laughs> it is okay. Oh I have a All very right. high emotional IQ. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And he's still going. It's okay. Six and seven or whatever. But um, yeah, no, I I decided that like because I've been going to therapy and I decided that like I'm going to try to like Talk not let things not okay. Um, I'm asking. Well, not necessarily tough enough, but I think that not everything needs to have a conversation. And I think when things bother me or I feel about something, I feel like I need to have a conversation to like get over it. And then because I brought it up to have a conversation, people are like, oh, you don't get feelings. Oh, something's wrong. Oh, you're sensitive. Oh, you didn't like that or whatever, whatever. And I think it's not that what I'm feeling is wrong, because obviously my feelings are valid. Like, if you feel something, I can't tell you, like, I'm, like you're wrong for feeling it. Like, like, if I felt the way about it, I felt the way about it. But I'm trying to be in a place where I'm deciding what's worth discussing to other people. Because there are things that you can just, like, deal with yourself. And I think I've just never been that kind of person. I think I have to, like, talk things out to get past them. Okay. So I feel like I talk to, like, my friends. Or I talk to my significant other, like, whatever. But it's, like, the way things bother me, I guess. I feel like if I say the same thing 45 times, like, it's, it's annoying. It's mm-hmm. nagging. It's, like, all right, calm down. We get it. Like, cool. So I think, like, that's what I'm trying to, like, work on, like, for myself. Cause like I can't change who I am as a person. Like I'm just gonna feel shit. Like it just is what it is. But that doesn't mean that every time I feel some shit, I need to like say like, damn, like that really bothered yeah. me. Yeah. Unless it's like, so I'm trying to figure out like what like the hard like boundaries are. Like yeah, like what is like 
what is it about this particular situation that like really offended me and that really like felt disrespected to me and that's what I'm like hey like we're not doing this particular thing anymore everything else that's that's on me to like take care of that's like no one else would have to like have to have that conversation with me how about you sir shit I mean no, I never really did the New Year's resolution type. Mm -hmm. um, just as anything, like it's just another day. Yeah. <laughs> New Year's just another day. It's, it's, New Year's is my favorite holiday. Yeah. Love New Year's. It's, Hate Christmas. Love New Year's. It's just another day. Like it. It was a Monday too. Like uh, that shit threw up. That, that made it. That made it. That's a great worse. start. That's a great start. You start on a Monday. How the fucking work? Like <laughs> you start the New Year on a Monday. I like to drink for New Year's. So waking up at waking up at five thirty a.m. after drinking or not, you know what I'm saying? You got or not? You can't do it. You have to do it in moderation. Sure. Like you got responsibilities and shit. Sure. Yeah, I do have some teachers trying to like like make you do a new New Year's resolution. Trying like, what do you want to do? Yeah, when I was like elementary school and stuff, but like early middle school. I saw this fucking uh, meme like today, and it was just like, what is an example of like working well under pressure? It was like doing your homework while she's collecting it. Like, yeah. bruh. Yeah. <laughs> you know how many times I've been like, nah, yeah. my parents wasn't rocking like that. Your but, parents, did your parents like, ever check your homework growing up? And they just believed you did it. Early on, they did, but then once they kind of noticed that most of their kids were really smart, they stopped caring. Mm -hmm. like, my parents yeah. told me the fuck, but they knew, like, you my kids are smart enough to do this shit in the world. Mm -hmm. Like, they ain't never really had to do they that never. first, no. My, my parents, I guess this might be an African parent thing, like, obviously my sister and I were, like, intelligent. We always got our homework done, mm -hmm. but, like, even until maybe, like, the eighth grade or so, because then in the eighth grade, seventh grade, you try getting, like, progress reports or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, it like, just gonna tell. It was yeah, six so it was, six like, until, like yeah, so until, like, sixth, seventh grade, mm -hmm. even if I said my homework was done, they still wanted to, like, see it just to, like, oh, like, you did it, like, whatever, like, your job, but, like, when they started getting those, like, every, like, it was bi-weekly, they would send home progress reports. It's crazy. Well, it's just what they did. But, Jesus. so they would stop checking because they got the progress reports. Like, so everybody was like, oh, like, she has to be doing something to be getting, like, an A or B in the class, mm -hmm. whatever it is. So that's when they stopped checking my homework, like, hey, you're still doing your homework. But then it's like, my sister's five years, my junior. So, like, they stopped for me, but they were still checking hers. Oh, shit. I remember, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's funny, like, going, like, seeing it, like, when we were legit, like, you're a young boy and shit, and Johnny had five apples, and yeah. he ate two of them. How many do he got left? And you're like, seven. <laughs> and my mom was just like, <sighs> and it's just it's funny. Shot. It's, it's just funny now, like, a lot of the times, like, seeing people our age going through that phase of life like their kids is like yeah. bruh trace the fucking letter R and then right next to it draw the letter R and he draws some wild shit and then God. <laughs> it's like hey fool that you should know, be the funniest shit bro. I get it because like but honestly it's like it's so wholesome because they genuinely don't know You're like, what letter is this like, uh, but it's like and what did you draw <laughs> I don't know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, niggas be sad. They don't mean to be fucking. stupid. Like, they don't mean to be uh, ignorant. They just oh, don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. That's, no that's so funny. I can pull out the workbooks right there. That's <laughs> so, so funny. Yeah, me, me just rage quit. I actually can wait. I'm time. enjoying Mia being three. Like, she just got, for, for Christmas, she got some, like, workbooks or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, the little, like, the alphabet tracing and, like, one through like ten or whatever. Mm. But like uh, I can't imagine. Oh shit. My New Year's resolutions. Um I feel like one of them is uh try to be a more present friend. But a lot of times he will like ask me to do shit. And I'll blame work a lot of I'm busy, you know, I do that work a lot, you know what I'm saying? Just be a trudge of the day. <laughs> so trying to show up more for people, you know what I'm saying, that do ask me to come places and shit like that. And a lot of times they'd be like the real homies and shit. Um, being a better communicator, um, that's another thing that I'm working on. Like, because a lot of times I don't even expect me to like know what I'm thinking or feeling. I just expect to just be able to just move on. Like, so you 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 irritate me, you like make me mad or whatever. Like, I'm a, you'll be able to tell. 
that I'm like not fucking with you for a little second, but now I just, I'm just trying to let it go. <clears throat> and I'm working on like being a better communicator in that aspect. Um, and like the other thing was, oh, just taking better care of myself. Like actually going on vacation. I was like, I'm trying to do three this year, bruh. That's like, that's, 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 that's the next young. week count. That's slight. Next week counts. It counts for me. Next it counts for me. Because I'm not going to be at work. After Tuesday at 3 p.m. Tuesday at 3.01 p.m. Dog. See, like, it's dead to me. Don't yeah. text me. Okay. Don't call me. I don't know nothing. So when you say three vacations a year should go for this year, do you think that's, like, just enough vacation to where you can feel like taking better care of yourself? Do you think that's, like, the the goal? Because I think personally. That's a start. I, that's a start. Because for me, it's hard. Okay. No, I get that. Because sure, for me, it's for like, sure. bro, like, I, like accountability and like, like ownership is like a big thing. No, for so sure. it's like, bro, like, I think that, I'm responsible for this. Yeah. Entity, so I can't just be like, oh, vacation. You no, know, like, but I think that if you plan it well enough and you take the time to do so, mm-hmm. I think you can take those trips and have things still go as they're supposed to. Oh, they're gonna go. You, like, they're gonna oh, go. for sure. But I like mm-hmm. personally, personally, Every group I think for a year is that's, a good that's, that's, minimum. See, but, four years is tough. So because you, you can do one every quarter. Yes, But the fourth quarter, it gets crazy because, like, the sure, holiday holidays, season. Sure, so but, like, but when I say four vacations a year, I don't even mean, like, on the shit I've been on recently, like, two weeks, one week, Wild. like, 15 days. Like, that's not what I mean. I mean, like, even if, like, you can't either have the time or you don't think that you can afford to do, like, a big thing, I think that if you plan, like, everything was take, like, a weekend away or something, or even just, like, is crazy. no, if you take a Friday to a Monday, that's a long weekend, in I'll what, take that. In what industry? What do you mean, what industry? What you take industry time, of you work? take those days off. You need to give yourself as much credit. Uh, I feel like, uh, it's a work in progress. It's a work, no, I get like, it. I've been feeling bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm, yeah, but hey, try to get over it. Hey, I'm if, gone if you, this if week, you bro. die today, Indeed. if they fired you today because they didn't like what you did, Indeed. then I give you a two week notice. You know, then I, stuff. Sure, but it's not, you know what I mean? It's not what you deserve no, by any means. No, for sure, for sure. And it's not going to like set you up for it. It might give you like, what, two weeks maybe to figure some shit out Sweet. if you don't have savings? Like, no. Four four vacations a month is is hopefully ideal for most people. Well, you said four a month. No, 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 I'm sorry. Huh, my brain. She happiness. No, no, no. Four four vacations a year. I think is I think should be the average or the normal if you can take it time financially. I think you should try to take two like weekend ones like either like a Friday to a Monday or like a Saturday to Monday if you can for like just just like slight things real quick. Um, but I think you should take one at least like five, six day vacation. Out of the four, you should be able to take off like a whole week. Yeah, I agree. Cause if you if you plan it correctly, and if I guess because I now I have weekends off, so I don't work weekends. So if I plan it correctly, mm-hmm. I could go if I took off like a Monday through Friday, I could go Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then go back to work on Monday. If I took the whole like seven, eight days off. Because I can't. But obviously I would plan. I'm going to be gone for like a week. Like I'm going to really like plan that shit out. But yeah. But you'll go find out somebody beach. When you go on vacation, do you plan what you're going to do? Like this is our itinerary. No, we do that. Have you ever been on a on a, on a I mean, family vacations, we do that. Yeah, but... Um, mm-hmm. You ever been on vacation with like your girl at the time and she was like, oh, well, I'm going to go zip lining and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and I'm going to go hiking and I'm going to go sledding and I'm going to go to the and fishing, you know. Well, you just want to sleep? No. I think I'm personally a mix. Like, the trip that I took on Puerto Rico, it was 100% itinerary. But it was it was Lily's birthday, so she planned everything she wanted to do, and we just did was on her itinerary. I think if it was just me going on vacation with, like, my boyfriend or with my friends or whatever it is, I think if we're going to a new place, we should research what's in the area. We can't just show up somewhere not knowing what's going on. For yeah. one. So yeah. I think that... We should have an idea of what we could do because after you sleep or you wake up or you brunch or whatever, like you're gonna be bored. You have to do something. So I, it doesn't have to be zip lining and all those other stuff. You have to figure out like what is accessible to you around you and what you could possibly do like in your budget. If we don't do like zip lining, like, if we don't do all those things, I'm not dying. Like I love a little chill on the beach. I love a little like walk around town, boardwalk type situation. Like that's okay. But if we can, why not? 
Cause I feel like I'm bored on vacation. I don't want to do. Since you're boring. Hell, I don't want to do mm-hmm. none of that shit. So what? So what is an ideal? Va- you have a week. Mm-hmm. A week. Monday through Friday. All right. What do you do? You and your girl. Like, is it just us or it's like we like going to bed? No, like, just you and your girl. Y'all just on vacation. If it was up to you, what would you do for the week? You know, Monday to like Wednesday, probably just sleep for real. So you would leave your house to mm-hmm. go to vacation somewhere else, just sleep for three mm-hmm. days. Okay, just continue. Uh-huh. And then find some good eats in between mm-hmm. there. You know what I'm saying? In between sleep. So it's sleep and eat. Sleep and, and then sleep and eat. Yep. And maybe adult things and then sleep and eat. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, and what? That was Monday through Wednesday. You got Thursday through through Monday. Right? Thursday, you know what I'm saying? Like go to a nice dinner or something. Friday, you probably touch the streets. Make the, make, the, make the streets feel my presence a little bit. Um, and then Saturday, probably some shopping somewhere. Some light and Sunday going. Okay. What do you think your bro would want to do? Just, you said what your shit. idea was. What is her shit. idea? I don't want to do. Like, niggas don't want to do nothing. Niggas don't want to do none of that shit. I feel like that's not true. I'm, I'm telling you. You wouldn't want to go and do none of that shit. That's to the jungle? No. The, you lost me at jungle. These ATVs and the nice feet. Okay, so what do you think your idea is? Your idea is to go somewhere and just like chill. Yeah. Like a nice dinner. Nice dinner. Like a 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 nice dinner. No. Then joined, Tiger out. jumped up and was like, it's "Run that shit!" Off? Took his fucking arm. Then you get it back. Getting <laughs> <Gee>, blood. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Oh my okay. god! Okay. Oh, nigga. And what about you? Absolutely. You have a week off, Monday to Monday, and Monday to Sunday. How are you spending your vacation? Mm. Damn. Why does it always depend on something? I'm thinking about my process. Like it always depends on something. Mm-hmm. Is it my first re- vacation of the year? I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna. Okay, let's say you have you have all the time, <laughs> you have all the money. You already paid your bills. You got you had a bonus that week. Money is not your concern. You're in a tropical place on a beach somewhere. The weather nice. It's not raining. You're not stuck in a house. I'll never go on a vacation if money is a concern. Okay, no okay, point. great. But not only is it not a concern, you have extra. Okay, like you can really. <laughs> Like, Gabe can get dessert every night, okay? Like, you really, you're treating yourself. All right, so... I punch you in the throat. What are you doing right now, Doug? Don't just get your arms ready and go through. Nah. Hey, yeah. You want to order appetizers and... You can, oh, you can get whatever you oh, want this weekend, oh, oh, okay? Anyway. It's all yeah, pizza. I just want my fucking... It's all pizza. They said, ball out. I just want my jerk pasta, yeah. bro. I just want to go. Hey, all right, all right, all right, so first day, you know what I mean? It's obviously going to be, like, a rest day because I work hard this year. I'm always doing something. Take a day to like sleep and chill. Mm-hmm. All right. Next day is probably gonna be like two days. Probably gonna be like a late start to the day because I'm still gonna be kind of like the sure, groggy hangover. Sure. Uh, hangover or sleep hangover? Groggy, like a sleep okay. hangover, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like jet laggy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Um. So had to travel. Sure. Yeah, and like me, no, me, like I really like food and I like trying new shit. Mm-hmm. Obviously, and like. I'm probably gonna go somewhere where the food is crazy, like street food is crazy, mm-hmm. restaurants mm-hmm. or something. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So like we're gonna be trying food first of all. So first and foremost, like we probably gonna eat like twice a day. Um, yeah. So like that is gonna be a chill day again. Mm-hmm. And then the third day I should be somewhat rejuvenated, ready to go actually like do something, mm-hmm. like hop on the water, like okay. I don't know if y'all ever did it, but like being on the water for at least an hour or two is really really taxing yeah especially when there's no clouds bro like jet skiing for hours is is a uh, is a taxing uh, activity taxing. yeah like you be tired bro and like you, i believe you bro but um yeah so like maybe some water uh <laughs> some water activities um and then yeah so uh, you yeah. always you always need a nap right after those some water activities bro it's yeah. random and then, of course, like we, we're probably going to end every night eating somewhere, like some type of restaurant. Mm-hmm. The day is going to be probably like finding some some new barbecue spot or whatever, trying to, like some crazy shit. Um, second day, I mean, uh, no, no, Thursday, uh, we can probably do some shopping. Uh, probably, probably like sightsee, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it also depends on what you want to do too, or whoever I'm going with want to do too. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, like 
Probably chill again. That's why I like, I like group vacations. That's my shit. I think I like group vacations when everyone is on board about what the vacation is going to look like. I think what's hard about group vacations is when you don't talk about these things. If everyone's like, hey, we're all going to Miami. That's just what the main group chat said, right? We're going to Miami. There's no further discussion. I'm going to Miami could look a, like very, very different to a lot of people. Yeah. Because as you guys have all like discussed, like I think what I agree is like my day one of travel, especially depending on like how long the travel is or whatever it is, I want to get there. I want to like find my hotel and if I'm Airbnb, I want to eat and I want to go to sleep. On the first day, because we got up, we we're probably up, we like travel, we Uber, whatever, whatever. Day one, I agree. I eat some good food, I go to sleep. Tomorrow morning we can start stuff. Personally, I'm not that like big of like a sleep in kind of person. Like I think even when I like sleep in, sleep in, by 8 a.m. I'm up. 11, 12. No, no, no. 11, 12, I feel like half oh. the day is gone. We're not going to be until like two weeks, but it don't matter. No, no, no. And, uh, so like I, our friend, my family, and like another, like our, well, our family, like we go on a vacation every year to uh, South Carolina or like wherever we go. Mm -hmm. Like a family and, like, reunion kind of thing? Yeah, and like we have then like the dinners and like the more expensive activities planned out damn near a year in the head. So like... Sure, because we need money to pay for shit. Exactly. So like as soon as that vacation's over, like in a month or so, they're probably going to send the details for the next year. So like we always have like the places we plan on eating and so obviously you gotta do some research so we like have that planned out and then you know we have whatever else planned out and then whatever you want to do in between then you can do like yeah whatever. see i like things like that so those type of group vacations if like if it's not like that i don't think i really want to want to go because <laughs> yeah. i don't have time for ill plan vacation i agree you're doing a guy's trip anywhere <laughs> yeah uh, that was not a pleasant year. <laughs> <laughs> no. That I was mean, like, like That was like I'm never. Sorry. It was. It was. It was. It was memories for sure. Mm. Uh, went to Miami for Miami for uh. Oh, I did. Yeah, that, that was interesting. Mm. Oh, no, I agree. I think not food necessarily for me personally. I think that whatever is there when we get there, we can kind of just feel it out and like pick a place. Because um, nowadays you can Google any menu pretty much from wherever you are. Mm -hmm. um, but I think as far as like activities like the, the zip lining or the ATVs or like the jet skis, like those things, I think I want to know about them in advance because I want to be able to plan how much money I think I'm going to spend when I go on vacation. Like I know I'd be saying I go on vacation, but I really do like figure out what I'm going to like spend on before I get out there. Like I know how much my that's plantain costs and how much. Adulting, bro. Yeah, but I I'm that's not, where I live. I'm not that level of I adult. live there. I live I'll there. Live in, fuck it. No, I live there. <laughs> like I don't have like a, like it. I don't have like a budget like Shut for the up. day per se or whatever. But mm -hmm. I know like in my brain like how much money I'm going to allow myself to spend while I'm on vacation. Mm -hmm. So if I know I'm gonna want to do some type of like activity or whatever before I leave like my house. I know how much jet skis, I know how much ATVs are because I'm not probably not going to do everything, but I'll pick like, do I really want to do jet skiing that bad if jet skiing is like $100 or am I okay doing ATVs for like 50 because it's just about like having the activity and like seeing like the scenery and like shit like that. Uh, but see me being on vacation, I have no problem breaking away from the group and doing some shit or like, oh, y'all want to go fishing at 7 a.m. Yeah, go ahead and I'm go ahead and sleep in. That's okay. I feel like it's only okay if people like, if you, you guys have the conversation prior. Mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes people be like, yeah, like I'm down for whatever. And it's like, sometimes it's like a head count thing. Like you have to have a certain amount of heads there. When we get there, you can't fake on me now. Like you said you were down, we put in the head count. Like they're not gonna let the rest of us go because now you won't go. That's, that's, that's the case, you got another you gotta, one go. Yeah, you have to shut go. up and go. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but if it's like, honestly, I feel like if you're sick, even if you, if you get too drunk, you just don't want to, Shawty, rest up. Like, we'll see you later. Uh, yeah. I feel like it's not set in stone, but I know people who get really, really upset if they, like, had a plan in mind, and There's you're too tired, you're sick, or whatever, and now it's like, I'm fucking up, fucking up the vibe. Yeah, like, you know, I've, been on, I've been, been on vacations, like, and yeah, there real. have been hardcore, like, arguments because a homie got too drunk, and his girl wanted him to go to X, Y, and Z with everybody else, and he was just too fucked up to go. Oh, hell no. I was just like, <laughs> you put the watch without that nigga. Like, sorry, gang. Like, mm -hmm. 
Group vacation. Group vacation is shit, though. I love them shits. If you don't care about your significant other enough, I feel like that's a problem, too. That's what, that's what like, the bigger argument for me is. Not that you really miss dinner, mm-hmm. but the fact that, like, you didn't care about my well-being enough to just let me rest. Mm-hmm. I feel that. Shit, vacation is whatever you want it to be, bro. Yeah, but it should be whatever each individual person wants to do. We should all come out from vacation either feeling rested, rejuvenated, or we had a good time. We should mm-hmm. not be coming back from spending money somewhere new and being upset we went. Or having a bad taste in our mouth because we I feel like that counts as buyer's is. remorse, bro. Like, no. Everything that you bought the experience and paid for and shit. should be good. Yeah. Like, no. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, like, I'm bored on vacation, so don't ask me to go nowhere. I'm just gonna stay at home. This was fun. Yeah. This was a hoot. But it's been a long, guys. It's you. But I haven't seen any one y'all in a minute. Yeah, man. And that's all we got for y'all today. Um, we appreciate y'all for watching this far. Always. Um, you know, helping the channel grow. We always appreciate a like. A follow, a comment, you know what I'm saying? A share. A subscribe, share, a share, share, share. Tell share. a friend, Talk tell a friend, put your friend, put your homie on, you know what I'm saying? Put your homegirl on, whatever, whatever. Um, yeah. Um, and then Team Flesh 4L on TikTok, um, Team Flesh Podcast on this Instagram and YouTube. Just make sure you follow that TikTok, Bill. Every like, share, comment helps. Um, we are doing something like for like the group, so there's something for anyone, family friendly, comedy, black people, just where people, people. <laughs> oh, I need to use that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't appreciate when. It's like, hey, yo, I thought he was going to work on that. I was. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Hey. <laughs> Alright, guys, catch us yeah. next time. Yeah, we old and we gotta go to sleep. But, good job, man. See y'all next time.